I'm gonna wait right here for you when you get out. Oh, thank God they're finally gone. Oh, I needed a break. Have you ever tried a road trip with a wife and kid? Oh, brutal. What's going on everybody? Jared here with another Netflix. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, movie review. And we're continuing with the October Halloween costume spectacular. Today I am Wayne from Wayne's World. And you're probably wondering, well, if you're Wayne, where's Garth? Well, I asked him to be on this review and he just refused. Hey Garth, you wanna be on this review? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna stand over here. See, he, he doesn't want to. Anyways, I'm a big fan of mystery thrillers. You know, a couple weeks ago, there was the In the Shadow of the Moon from Netflix. Now we have another one from Netflix from Sam Worthington called Fracture. After his wife and injured daughter disappear from the emergency room, a man becomes convinced the hospital is hiding something. So is this mystery thriller Netflix original one of its best? Let's find out. But before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of Fractured if you were able to check this one out, and what's one of your favorite mystery thrillers. Now let's get into some of the good. Personally, getting into this movie, I didn't know what to expect. I think I watched 30 seconds of a trailer. It, it grabbed me. I was like, I don't need to see any more, and turned it off. And believe me, getting into this movie, the tone from basically second one sets up this crazy journey that I was on board for. Like, again, it sets up all of this stuff that is is almost awkward it's it's it it doesn't seem right and this plays out through the whole movie almost in this chilling haunting eerie vibe because you don't know what's happening what's not happening and the way that they crafted it from such a per certain perspective and almost these camera tricks um it, it it made it for again this very enjoyable watch for a mystery thriller and the reason it was such this eerie chilling haunting tone is due to the story which i'll get into later but due to part of also the musical score as well or also just musical notes and i'm not a big noticer of musical scores but i think it was because i was wearing my headphones but there's these just one or two or maybe three piano notes growing in intensity as characters are talking, as certain events are playing out, as just, you know, a character is looking off into the distance. And these well-placed musical notes really ramped up, again, that haunting feel. When Sam Worthington's character is told that a certain aspect isn't how he saw it happen when a when a receptionist tells him, it just is that tiny little note that really ramps up the like, oh! Wait, what's going on? But the one aspect that kept me invested from beginning to end is the mystery thriller story at the core of this movie. And a lot of mysteries, you know, I can figure them out fairly soon or a context clue here or there. But this movie kept me guessing and second guessing literally the whole movie. And that's what I loved about it is you thought it was maybe going one way, completely goes the other way. These certain context clues are really throwing you off because again, perspective and who is seeing these events take place is one of the main keys of this movie. And again, I loved how it was crafted. I wouldn't say carefully, but the way that it directed and also misdirected throughout pretty much the whole movie. I know that, you know, there's other movies that you might find similarities to, and it might be cliched. Like, honestly, if you've seen Flight Plan, this is Flight Plan, but in a hospital. But that's just like the first half then it goes off into a completely different thing into this ending that you did not see coming at all quick thing before negatives is i gotta give a tip of the hat to sam worthington he does a fantastic job in this movie i wouldn't say it's a oscar worthy performance but he does a fine job of kind of leading us through the story with this man that's having trouble with perspective and whatnot i mean i loved him in uh, man on the ledge I have no idea why, but I loved him in this movie as well. Now, I thoroughly enjoyed Fracture, but there were a couple scenes here or there that felt like it was trying to elevate itself to almost this action-type movie. There's one scene, for example, that I had to compare it to Crank because Sam Worthington is on adrenaline and going through the hospital doing these crazy things. And then also there's this fight in an elevator almost... I wouldn't say raid style at all because that's putting a, a tarnish on the raid, but they wanted it to be more action oriented. I didn't think that that fit with the overall tone of the film. And certain characters, aspects, little tiny details are set up in this movie, and I don't know if it was entirely used for misdirect, 
but they don't entirely tie up a lot of things. There's there's these one-off things or the camera focuses on this certain character. And I really thought that this would come into play later on. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Believe me, I loved beginning to end of the movie, but there was a few things in the middle that just did not, I, I was like, whatever happened to that? Overall, Fractured is one hell of a Netflix mystery thriller that will keep you guessing and second guessing till the very end. With a wonderfully creepy tone, haunting score, well-crafted story that keeps you guessing, and Sam Worthington doing a fine job of guiding us through this, but with a scene here or there that felt a bit out of place and some aspects never fully being explored, I'd recommend checking out Fractured. Some might say that this film is cliched, but I was on board from beginning to end, and I loved every single twist and turn in Fractured. In closing, I'm gonna give Fractured 3.7 out of 5 hospital waiting rooms. So what did you guys think of Fractured if you were able to check this one out? I wanna know in the comments down below. Anyways guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos up there, you know, movie reviews, trailer actions, fun comedy skits. I think later today I might have another movie review and then in the next couple days I'm hopefully going to have my Breaking Bad ranking. Those take a long time. Follow all of my social media, click that subscribe button. It seriously helps me out and until next time, I'll see you later.